For the last 23 years, the banging is driving us crazy in the house. Whether it's the sink here or the dishwasher in the kitchen or the washing machine in the basement. I came just in time, 23 years. You betcha. <laughs> Can I hear it? Sure. Oh yeah, try it again. Try again. Sounds like it's coming from inside the wall here. Now we've got an access panel here, Harvey. Let's see what we got inside. Okay, Harvey, what we're looking at here is the back side of the bathtub. You can see the tub right here. Here's the overflow for the drain. And here's our hot and cold piping. Now, anytime I think about water hammer, I think about pipes that aren't secured properly. So I shake this around. The, the cold's not too bad. Now, the hot's pretty bad. Now what I could do is just secure this pipe, and that'll help the pipe right here, but these pipes also go underneath the floor. Now is this where you always hear the noise? Yes. All right, so this access panel might be the perfect place for us to install a shock absorber right there. When I say shock absorber, what I mean is this. It's actually called a water hammer arrester. Okay, we're going to cut them into the copper water lines, and we'll have two of them, one on the hot and one on the cold. Now, I brought along a cutaway, and inside you can see that there's a rubber diaphragm in the middle, and on this side we have water. On this side, there's an air charge. So when that water is moving through the pipe, there's a lot of inertia in that water. Instead of rattling the pipes, it's actually going to push that diaphragm back and forth until all the energy is dissipated, nice and quiet. Now, what I've done is I've turned off the water and drained down the system. Now I'm ready to cut those pipes. Now, I like to clean the pipe before I cut it. The water hammer arrestor is going to connect into this T, and the T will solder into this hot water line. So before I cut it, I want to mark it right there and right there. Now I could cut this with a hacksaw blade, but a pipe cutter makes a much cleaner cut. Good, there's one. So I'm just making the upper cut to allow for that T to fit in there. Now we work on the coal side. Good. Apply flux to both the pipe and the fitting and connect it. Now we're ready to solder. Now on the threads to the water hammer arrestor, I've applied a little Teflon tape and now we're ready to thread them into the T's. I'll use an open end adjustable to tighten them up. Good. And now the cold. Okay. The water hammer arrestors will take care of the banging, but I really don't like this pipe moving around this much, the hot. So I'm going to secure it with a clip. Good. All right, access panel's in. Let's give it a try. I'll listen right here. Open it up full and shut it off fast. Try it again. What do you hear? Just water. As it should be. Mm -hmm.